hello viewers how are you so i have finished this conic sections and if you really think that this videos are very much helpful so kindly like share and subscribe the channel okay so now in this video i am going to explain about cycloid so see this is a question to construct a cycloid for the generating circle having diameter 30 mm okay so your generating circle suppose this is your generating circle so this circle having diameter 30 mm okay so you have to draw a line from here okay so this line is nothing but equal to the circumference okay twice pi r okay so length of this line is twice pi r okay so in this case i have taken 30 mm as a diameter okay so twice pi r means 2 into uh okay so 2 pi and r is 15 okay one minute 2 into pi into r is 15 okay so today this is 94 94.25 i can say okay this much of mm okay so length of this line is 94.25 mm okay now we are going to start to draw the cycloid so first of all we are going to draw a circle okay so this radius of the circle is 15 okay so let's measure it from here to okay so i have measured okay so suppose this is the circle okay now divide this circle into 12 equal part okay so i have already told how to divide okay so you can easily divide this
ओके नाउ दिस इज माई जनरेटिंग पॉइंट पी ओके दिस इज माई जनरेटिंग पॉइंट पी ओके नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू ड्रॉ ए लाइन विच इज नाइंटी फोर पॉइंट टू फाइव ओके नाइंटी फोर सो फ्रॉम इयर टू इयर नाइंटी फोर पॉइंट टू फाइव ओके सो ऑलमोस्ट इयर ओके so you have to divide this line also into 12 equal part okay so you know how to divide a line into 12 equal part okay so by using this method also you can divide a line into 12 equal part okay okay so 10 okay. okay. Now you join these lines. Okay. So in this case, drafter is needed. Okay. So by fixing the drafter, you can slide this thing and you can easily divide the line. Okay. So using drafter, you can easily divide. now i have to mark this so this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 this is 5 this is 6 this is 7 this one is 8 9 10 Eleven and last one is twelve. Okay. These are your one dash. This is two dash. This is three dash. Four dash. Five dash. Six dash. Seven dash. Eight dash. Nine days, ten days, eleven days, and this is twelve days. Okay. Now you have to draw the straight line. Okay. So better you have to draw one perpendicular line over here. up to this much so that all line is going to be finished here
ओके नाउ यू हैव टू ड्रॉ द परपेंडिकुलर लाइन व्हिच इज गोइंग टू इंटरसेप्ट एट दिस मिडिल पॉइंट ओके सो फ्रॉम पॉइंट 1 परपेंडिकुलर गोइंग टू इंटरसेप्ट हियर पॉइंट 2 परपेंडिकुलर गोइंग टू इंटरसेप्ट हियर पॉइंट 3 परपेंडिकुलर गोइंग टू इंटरसेप्ट हियर पॉइंट 4 perpendicular going to intersect here point 5 here point 6 here point 7 here this is point number 8 point number 8 point number 9 This is point number ten. And this is point number eleven. Okay. So you can see by using drafter how beautifully you can draw the perpendiculars. Okay. So this is the C1. This is C2. This is C3. This is C4. This is C5. C6. C7. C8. C9. C10. C11. This is C12. Okay. Now taking this as a uh, radius. Okay. And C1 is the center. Okay, you have to cut in the first line. Okay, so this is the first line. Okay, this intersection point is the first line. Taking C2 as the center, you have to cut in the second line. This is the second line. Okay. Similarly, C3, you have to cut at the third line. Okay. C4, you have to cut fourth line. Okay. C5, this is the fifth line. Okay. C6, so this will automatically cut at the top. Okay. So somewhere here it is going to be cut. Okay. C7, C7, it will again. It will cut in this line, seventh line. Okay, seventh line means it is starting from seven. Okay, C eight. Okay, so it is going to cut on the eighth line. So this is the eighth line. Okay. After that, C nine. So ninth line is this one. Okay, this one is the ninth line. C ten. So tenth line is here. This is the tenth. Okay. C eleven. So eleven will be here. Okay. And after that twelve. Okay. Now these are the points. P one, P two, P three, P four, P five, P six. Again up to P twelve. Okay. So these are the points. So here it is P1. You can write here it is P1. Okay, this is P2. This is P3. This is P4. This is P5. This is P6. Okay, P7, P8, P9, P10, P11, P12. Okay. Now all points you have identified. Now you have to draw the arc. Okay. Now you have to draw the arc. So you can draw a beautiful arc through this intersection point.
ओके सो दिस इज योर साइक्लॉइड नाउ सपोज यू आर गोइंग टू ड्रॉ द टेंजेंट एंड द नॉर्मल सो सपोज दिस इज द पॉइंट पॉइंट पी थ्रो हुई यू वॉन्ट टू ड्रॉ द टेंजेंट एंड द नॉर्मल ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम गोइंग टू फिक्स दिस टू हेज पेंसिल ऑन द कॉम्पस ओके सो टेक द सेम रेडियस ओके फिफ्टीन सेंटीमीटर ओके एंड दिस इज द पॉइंट पी एंड यू हैव टू कट एट द सेंटर लाइन यू हैव टू कट एट द सेंटर लाइन ओके सो दिस इज going to cut somewhere here okay this is going to cut somewhere here okay so you can draw a line from here to here okay you can draw a line from here to here so this is your point o okay this is your point o and this point is your point m okay now if you join this and this so this will give you the normal so p is already exist so i am writing this is suppose b okay some point b okay not p some point b i am going to write okay so this is your normal okay o b is your normal and what is the tangent so for tangent you have to draw the perpendicular line on this okay so you will draw the perpendicular line on this then this will be your tangent okay so suppose this is s and this is t okay so this is your tangent so this is the completion of your cycloid so i think you have understood the concept okay so when you are going to draw your diagram should be larger okay at that time you have to take the diameter uh maybe of suppose 60 okay 60 mm you have to take 